Hello, my name is John Connor. I work for the University of Liverpool. In this video I'll just be going through how to embed a Creative Commons license into a document. Now, we're going to start off from this point. If you don't know how I got here, or you haven't selected your Creative Commons license yet, please check out my previous two videos, The Basics of Creative Commons and the Creative Commons License Selector. and you should be able to choose, select a license from there, fill in this information and you'll be given this which is a license statement that you can put into your work. Now the document we're going to be looking at is, is just a basic Word document that's about uploading and downloading resources from various file share websites and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be embedding it into the footnote and then we're going to be putting it on the footnote of the first page and then the footnote of the last page so first of all to access the footnote we can either go to the bottom of the page and click on the double click on the bottom of the page and it will open the footer up or you can go to insert footer blank either one of those methods will work. So we're just going to copy the statement directly from the Creative Commons website. Copy that whole box there. Copy. And then in our document just going to paste it in. Okay, as you can see that's already caused some minor problems. On the first page our foot has gone behind some of the text and information. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the license down to the very bare minimum we can. So first of all this logo has a link to the Creative Commons website and also tells us what Creative Commons license we've got. So we don't need this second statement about it. So that's already significantly cut down the amount of text we have. Next, this is just the title of the document, so we don't need that as the document should have the title in it itself. And now we've got the very minimum we can have as our Creative Commons license statement. So that's just the license uh, image and link to the website and the authors or th whoever it's been attributed to and a link to where the resource is from or the author's website okay and at the moment if I click off there you should see that is in every page of the document okay so next I'm going to look at if this document is used offline. Now, if the document's used offline, we've got a problem because these links will no longer work. So we need to include these links in our statement. If we go back to the Creative Commons website and change the license mark down here to offline, it would just give us this statement which gives us the link to the license and it also gives us a little bit of text. Now, we already the lo if we keep the logo, we've already got all that information. So we just need this second part of it. Just put that in before the authors or the attribution. And then instead of instead of having the author's names there often you would have the authors on the front of a document anyway so it wouldn't ma you wouldn't need to have them in the footnotes so what i'm going to include is just a a link to the to the website where this document is from
Okay, and finally, just to shorten this, these license statements further, we have here Creative Commons Attribution 3.0. There is a shorthand for that, which we can find if we go to this address here. It's just there, CC BY 3.0 use that instead. Right, I've a little trick here. If you want to paste something that's that you want formatted in the document it's formatting and not the website it was taking from, if you just go to ho home then underneath on paste and paste special an unformatted Unicode text, then that will paste in in the formatting that our cut document is currently in. Okay, and there we have a license statement on every page of our document. Now, in order to include it just on the front page in a footnote, what we're going to do is click on the footnote again, double click and then it should bring up this information at the top you can click on design once you've double clicked on it and then there's this button here, different front page if we click that that's given us a different footer on the front page to the rest of the document so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our Creative Commons statement out of the rest of the document and put it onto the front page footer instead. And then it will only be on the front page of the document. Okay, so if we want to add a footer to the bottom of the document, so just the very last page of the document, what we need to do is we need to add a section break to do that, if we go to the to the page just before the last page, and then we we go to page layout breaks next page. What that'll do is make the next page a different section of the document. If we click on the footers, we can see this now says footer section one, and this last page is now footer section two. So that gives us a different footer. At the moment, and sometimes by default it will have this linked to previous which is what we don't want because that that for example links it to the previous section but if I unlink it from the previous it's it, uh, it we can then have separate footers for the different sections so make sure that you don't have different on first page unless you want unless you want a different on first page for section 2 but I would suggest turning that off just to simplify things and then put your Creative Commons statement in there and that should be just on the last page and that's how you put a, a Creative Commons license in the